Uh, HAMS uh, and uh, HAMS actually means uh, herbicide efficacy analytic uh, sustainable for weed control. Um, our project uh, is focusing more on herbicide and this eff efficacy. And um, let's uh, let's go to the presentation. So, from the point of view of the uh, environmental uh, problem, uh, the weed control and herbicide, Luxembourg, uh, uh, according with the Eurostat 2020, was one of the um, let's say highest uh, has one of the highest input of herbicide in the agriculture field. Um, completing this, uh, going to this further, uh, we saw that the herbicide resistant black grass is one of the problem in uh, the era. And I'm talking about the Belgium, France and Germany. Uh, and this, because of this, most of the farmers are using a lot of herbicide to, to combat without uh, into an ineffective way or uh, ineffective products, poorly chosen application and timings. So here it is our solution um, is uh, to uh, is proposing to accurate low cost and uh, easy deploy um, um, hardware and software for, um, um, you know, com uh, fighting against this uh, sustainable weed um, and uh, somehow to help the farmer to, um, you know, uh, saving money about this. So what he's doing actually is collecting the herbicide rental relevant data from the field uh, using the sensors and IoT. And this data, uh, we extrapolate useful insight from the data processing, especially environmental condition and actual herbicide resistance of the target weed, taking into account also these products and their substances. For the hemp pilot, we had three um, um, places, three farms, three locations. One was, was in Schengen, Luxembourg, uh, where the crop was uh, the maize. maize. Uh, we go then to Deepak, uh, a bigger place of 15 hectares, where we uh, did also the assessment for a crop of winter oil rape. And the final um, uh, pilot was on uh, Boulange, which was in France. We are talking about 70 hectares, focusing on the spring wheat. From the install and deploying point of view, we use a lot of, um, let's say, a couple of sensors, um, weather station and, um, let's say, with the sensors for the soil, uh, where we, you know, acquire all the humidity in the soil and uh, the weather conditions. And we use also Lumbar Eye, this is an intelligent camera that is taking the status of the crop, um, how actually this efficacy, efficacy is evolving in time. Then uh, we introduced new sensors uh, for um, six ultrasonic sensors, which with the aim to detect uh, the growing of the crop versus the weed, especially focusing on this BBCH. Um, so I will choose only this uh, uh, DPAC uh, deployment because uh, this was part of install and deploy. So we did this uh, application of the herbicide. Actually, we split the, the area in a couple of lots. And we uh, try to see what is the efficacy of uh, using Stone Aqua, Agile, Careflow, and Propy Zelco, this, these four products. Uh, or let's say what are the several formulation of the active ingredient in this product called propizamide. So we have favorable weed condition for uh, positive efficacy and we want to see uh, how, this, uh, how these products will uh, interacting with uh, uh, weeds in the field. And uh, we had also chance to get, get this rain forecast uh, and uh, you know the rain in uh, seven days of application. And as the final, uh, one of the, um, the results was that uh, the care flow uh, was the best herbicide for this area. And now talking about the, what is the advantage of the farmer, usually they are using one of these uh, products, which is, uh, let's say, I don't want to say which one, uh, but uh, is expensive. And uh, if we go with, uh, let's say, uh, the best product that was for that place, uh, the cost can be reduced uh, up to 10%. So this is advantage. From the technical implementation uh, in the matter, we have the dam dashboard and uh, um, the, our uh, the matter enabler. Uh, and we integrate our enabler with the meteor forecast uh, 
uh, with um, the matter um, uh, with the DEC module and uh, with the identification ACS module. Um, so the product can be used with the matter, but can be used as a standalone container in a Docker. From technical implementation of the features, uh, you, the user, the farmer has a very simple interface, uh, simple authentication through the matter. Uh, then simply just select the field name or create a new field, uh, select the crop type, uh, the herbicide uh, product, and uh, uh, you know specifying the sowing date or if he did already a herbicide start. And automatically, this uh, we calculate everything uh, inside, and we select, uh, we predict actually what is the best herbicide for it. Much more uh, in uh, in uh, in our implementation, we introduce also all the uh, products that um, allow it to be done in France and in Luxembourg. Product with the substances, so um, the farmer can, um, you know, each product is uh, has an algorithm inside in order to know which is the best for each location. So what is done the algorithm? Our implementation, we have the efficacy model for pre-application. I mean, uh, when is the best time, or based on the weather forecast, and what is the best model for uh, post-application? So after the herbicide was done, what is the efficacy of that product? From the point of view of the intelligence, uh, uh, the prediction uh, we is based on the artificial intelligent uh, uh, model. So we are taking the data from the fields, uh, soil and weather condition, but we are taking also data from the weather forecast for the post uh, model. Then uh, relevant data like herbicide products, protected areas, which is also part of the herbicide because the farmer cannot use some of the substances in some of the areas. And automatically, these are processed and we provide this herbicide efficacy. We have also this multi octal approach. Uh, the phase one, uh, we already said, support definition of the systems, uh, you know, and the architecture, going to the phase two, installing on these fields and op observe what is in the field versus the algorithms that we are providing. And on the first phase three, was related to his assessment and uh, this field demonstration days or information or knowledge exchange. HEMS multi octal approach, uh, um, here is a feedback that we got from the farmers. Um, we have a simple application for uh, uh, the single application for activity related to crop management. They want not only on herbicide control, and I believe the matter will be uh, a very good position in, uh, in, uh, in this demand. Uh, so, we uh, technical requirement to ensure hems adoption. Um, we need to integrate these hems also in other tools supporting different operations. Again, uh, for as feedback need of support for deployment and maintenance of the IoT systems, some of the farmers, you know, have difficulties to to do this kind of uh, installation. So our approach was to keep simple the system and uh, you know the products that we use were simply plug and play, no too much screws and wires and this kind of stuff, which is very complex for the farmer. And of course, a user friendly uh, graphical user interface, which uh, is uh, key in order the farmer to to get a simple uh, message. And here, uh, this good implementation that we done, we. We said also that it's better that uh, this efficacy to be also implemented as text messages or some kind of pop messages that uh, you know shows uh, clear meaning and what they have to do. Uh, from the social economical impact, uh, we have a positive impact on society workers. Uh, we you know try to lower the chemical exposure. We know. Everybody knows about phytotoxicity toxicity, and other collateral effects of this one. Um, we contribute also with this application for a sustainable development goal. From the EU point of strategy, um, data common and uh, in this uh, EU agriculture data space, we empower the farmer uh, with hems to take a better decision, especially on this field of herbiciding. And of course, we enhance the sustainability performance and competitiveness uh, collateral to 
uh, emission reductions because you know less herbicides, less emissions, and not only the final, the increased revenue for the farmers, as I said, um, choosing the best herbicide or the right product uh, can go to most uh, efficacy, efficacy or applicability, but also, uh, especially in Luxembourg, they can help uh, farmers to get uh, government subsidy based on these reductions. This is it. Thank you. <laughs>